Front Doors News. In studio, we are joined by Dana Campbell-Saylor, who is the CEO of the YWCA. Thanks for being here today. Thank you, Court. And the YWCA is one of the oldest nonprofit organizations. Yes. You've managed to be around for, I believe, it was your 100-year mark for the Centennial of Arizona. Right, right. So you're now 102. Well, you're not. Yeah, but. I'm, I'm saying not me personally. <laughs> the organization is. Yes, so yes. What an amazing thing to have an organization that is able to withstand all the changes of our oh, community. I know, I know, and I think that's why it's thriving, is that uh, the YWCA has um, evolved, addressing different needs in the community. Uh, it's changed, mm -hmm. uh, it's morphed into addressing different needs over the last 102 years. And the facility itself, it was interesting because I was looking at some of the pictures, it yeah. started this little home. Little in tiny house. The one in Phoenix. Yes, yes, little tiny house, yes. And it was, uh, was it uh, women, what, spent $100 to stay there? And well, the next building we moved to was a larger uh, building at 2nd mm -hmm. Street in Van Buren, mm -hmm. which has been torn down, but a beautiful old building. Mm -hmm. And it was a, a boarding house for boarding young house. women that were they were coming into the city or coming into Arizona for the first time right and back in those days um, there were no boarding houses for women wow. and you certainly didn't stay in a boarding house right. that had men right so that's unheard that. of no. No, 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 no. <laughs> so the types of issues that we're dealing with um, even today you know is finances oh, money absolutely absolutely women and, and feeling that sense of independence um, and confidence when they're dealing with their money that's right and uh, many of our, our women and young women come to us out of many different life situations. Mm -hmm. When we started the program in 06, a, a lot of domestic violence out of incarceration, and our population has grown. Uh, we're at many sister organizations. Uh, we're in Avondale, Goodyear, we offer it in Spanish. Oh, it's okay. a four-week class, and we, we offer some wonderful things, savings for the future, how to budget. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about goals, you really start developing and, and understanding your value system. And often, you have to adjust your goals based on your value system and to become financial, financially sustainable. Right. And especially if it's a single you. mother and with children, um. you have to understand your finances. Um, a one young woman that we'll be talking at our tri tribute gala was homeless. And she went through our program. She learned how to set goals, how to budget. She just moved into her first home. She's got oh, one little girl. Oh, that's great. One little girl. And she said, I realized... I was so far in the negative and mm -hmm. how to get out and I, she said I never want to be in the negative again so it's life it's life changing once you educate a person right. you never never they have harness that power that's right to move forward they are and very grow. empowered after that so we feel that's critically important yes. and the the younger we can teach it and get the message out I would love to be in middle schools Oh yeah, really? Yeah, then I think so. then they won't be dealing with those issues as you know. Wouldn't yeah. be as hard for them, debt. <laughs> right? Yes. Maybe yes. we'll start with changing the age limit on that. No? <laughs> yes, that would help too. Yes. yes. So this program, four weeks. Um, you do it every year. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's it continually runs. We just started a class at Fresh Start last night. Okay. Uh, we can you can still sign up and okay. and come next week to Fresh Start. That would be uh, session one and two. Okay. For the two weeks, uh, and then um, we like I said, we have them in Glendale. We have them uh, in uh, Avondale, Goodyear. Okay. We also have Spanish. It's culturally sensitive. Uh, all of our our faculty, they are all experts. They're licensed and bonded. Oh, okay. And so you know you're getting the very best. They know best their stuff. Yeah, yes, and they and actually s step up and act as mentors too. You can call them oh, six okay. months later, and we do. Uh, wow, that's actually do pre and post testing. Okay. So we want to know: Have we made behavioral changes? Is there progress? Six months out. Oh, well, uh, yes. what a great thing! So Usually, important. Yes. Yes. So important yes. to be yes, doing that. Is. Well, we really appreciate you coming by and sharing the information. If anybody wants um, more information yes. on the program, yes. Yes. your website? Again, www.ywcaaz.org, or please call 602-258-0990. Great. Can I take your uh, financial class? No. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> Savings, a lot of important things. I wanted both my sons <laughs> to go through it. Thank you very much. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, Corey.